Professor Yaga, you are the Managing Director of the ERA EDTA Registry. What are the directives of this registry and how many countries submit their data to the ERA EDTA Registry? Well, I think the main uh, objective of the registry is to report on the number of patients on renal replacement therapy and also what their outcomes are. And as a second objective, we have the performance of uh, research projects uh, in collaboration with many nephrologists all across Europe. And I think at this moment we have data from 52 registries from 36 countries. Mm -hmm. And in the latest annual report, you described gender differences in advanced CKD. What exactly did you find out? Well, I think the main finding was that 60% uh, of the uh, patients on renal replacement therapy are men, whereas only 40% are women. And we are currently try trying to find out um, what is the cause of this difference. And also for this reason, we are collaborating with a number of nephrologists across Europe. Let's talk about the registry's organization. How many people work in your team? How many are nephrologists? How many epidemiologists? Well, at, at this moment we have eight people working for us. Um, some of them are part-time. Uh, most of them are epidemiologists. There are only a few MDs. And the only nephrologist in our group is the chairman. Mm -hmm. So, thanks to your personal commitment, the ERA EDTA registry became a scientific registry of high scientific reputation. But it's not only that, you also train young researchers in clinical epidemiology. How does this fellowship program look like? Well, we are so fortunate to receive money from ERA EDTA um, to make it uh, possible for uh, uh, fellows, uh, two fellows a year uh, can stay at Amsterdam for a maximum of six weeks. And with those, uh, with those fellows we try to write publications. They have the opportunity to work on our data and at the same time we are giving them a training in clinical epidemiology. Dr. Abdel Hafiz, you're one of the ERA EDTA Registries fellow. How was your stay in Amsterdam and how far did this fellowship help you with your career? Um, I stayed for six weeks. I was one of the winners last year and um, I applied uh, to work on uh, the renal transplant patients. Um, it was amazing experience. It was very nice. I learned a lot during these six weeks actually. Um, uh, I, I learned the social aspect and, uh, of course, the scientific issues and I managed to uh, write a manuscript and uh, I won one of the travel grants and I we, uh, one of the abstracts here in the conference. Um, I learned it from Kitty, from all the team, they were very supportive and uh, uh, I think that these um, opportunities, opportunities, I don't have to miss these opportunities because it builds me uh, more and more in my career. Wow, yeah. So would you advise others to apply for this program? Well, if I had the opportunity, I would apply again for myself. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>